Oh, it's just a stick. Stupid stick! Yeah, I came up with this video idea because I had an argument with myself because I got scared by a stick. Yeah, but snakes, like a bunch of other animals that are given a massively horrible rap because of how we chose to depict them throughout the years, they're actually kind of adorable. I mean, look at this fella here. He doesn't, he doesn't care about you. He doesn't care that you're there. He only, he's only worried about you stepping on him. Even if you do step on him, he's just gonna bolt it away as soon as you do. He's, he doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want an altercation. He doesn't want to stick his fangs in your leg. He doesn't know where that thing's been, but he'll do it because he's scared of you. And also, I, I don't even think he can see you. In fact, I think he can only see the red blazing outlines of your body. It can only depict you as a horrifying fireman, causing massive earthquakes to the ground below. This comes from my own personal experience from years of being well, basically fear-mongered by my own parents that Watch your step! They're anywhere and everywhere! They could be watching you right now. They will attack you when you least expect it. Yeah, stuff like that kind of sticks with you. It's probably not really a very healthy way to perceive the world, just saying. In fact, I'm probably doing this just to break out of my own fear of it. But snakes really don't care about you. In fact, they're not even out there in the open. They're usually going to be hiding away, out of sight. I and mean, you'll more often find snakes deep in holes, under rocks, in the bottom of lakes or streams. They're not going to be gallivanting around like, yo, hey, out of the way. Hey, yo, baby, yo, a tall drink of blood. Hark! I mean, what could snakes really do that are really that bad? Besides occupying an entire island that has more snakes than land? I guarantee if you pile an entire species of any animal on one island, it's gonna not end well. Snakes are only gonna come after you for like one or two reasons. One, if you piss them off. Or two, if you're currently assaulting them. Also, it doesn't help that a lot of snakes wind up sharing the same pattern of the actually, truly, deadly, horrifying snakes like copperheads. Okay, I say horrifying, but copperheads aren't actually death or feral. In fact, they're barely even poisonous. Venomous, sorry, poisonous. Poison and venom are two different things. What did the snake ever do wrong, huh? What, he was an apple salesman? Well, joke's on you. If he had legs, that means he's a lizard. So therefore, the snake is the victim of the lizard's the real culprit. Okay, I'm rambling at this point. Point is, snakes are just cute little guys. Look at them. Snake's track record of aggression only comes from people's track record of stupidity. An incredibly morbid fashion sense. I mean, did you know that most snake venoms have actually been really helpful within the medical field? Or that the snake is a symbol of medicine? Okay, my case is kind of running dry here. The snakes aren't the only victims in this case. What about sharks? Bloodthirsty. Murderous. Nah, you flip them on their back, they're just big old puppy dogs. Sharks are just the dogs of the sea when you think about it. Speaking of dogs, dogs have a great reputation, don't they? They're so sweet and fluffy and they lick everywhere. Whether you like it or not, but then again, they lick their private, so maybe them licking in your faces, them saying, screw you. Let's see, what would be more vicious? A long sentient noodle or a quick four-legged powerhouse with powerful jaws? That would maul you in a second, especially in packs. Dogs are so much more destructive than snakes. But no, they're the trusted man's best friend. One of the most annoying hypocrisies about dogs getting depicted as the perfect angels is you see dogs more often than you see a snake or a shark. What? You have to go you have to go hunting for a snake. Sharks, they're in the ocean. Snakes, they're the ground. They're so they're on the ground. They're making their way away from you. Dogs, they've infested this world and made it their own. Not to mention, they come in different models. Little noodle boys, they can only be long. So sometimes they can get tight, sometimes they can bite. Dogs, you can get the deluxe speed model, you can get the deluxe bulk bear model, and you know what they say. The smaller the size, the more viciously they try to cause your demise. When will this animal hypocrisy end? When will we take this death machine off its throne of being the goodest boy? And finally one day, have the slippery boy take its place. Oh, one could only dream. For the day, we don't judge Fluffy, the big happy smile with a big happy tummy that just wants to be rubbed oh so roughly in a big fluffy waggy tail and I freaking love dogs! Traitress!